Good morning, uh, dear rector, uh, dear uh, of, uh, dean of the Faculty of uh, Humanities and Education, uh, dear head of the Center for Research in the Applications of Language, and CRAL 2013 participants, dear colleagues and friends. As the representative of the Department of Modern Languages through the delegation of uh, the department chair, Dr. Uh, Asuncion Barreras, it is a pleasure and an honor to be part of this inaugural session for the third international conference on meaning, construction, and meaning interpretation, applications and implications organized by members of our, of our department under the, under the auspices of the Center for Research in the Applications of Language. The last 10 years have witnessed an uh, upsurge of interest in the study of communication and cognition and the way, uh, and the way they are related uh, to one another. Inferential pragmatics, discourse analysis, cognitive and functional linguistics are parcel of, uh, uh, a parcel of these upsurge. Studies on language have gradually acquired a solid applied orientation in many different areas. Literacy, second language teaching, models of communication, discourse analysis, with institutional applications, multilingualism, language and education policy, uh, translation, interpretation, treatment of language for specific purposes, linguistic engineering, language industries, and so on, so A forth. A program which includes, uh, includes uh, almost 100 uh, attendants and uh, which deals with uh, subjects so crucial to the study of language as uh, discourse analysis, pragmatics, lexicography, metonymy and metaphor, and so on. Uh, being a classicist myself and being, as we are in a building uh, named after the figure of uh, the Roman orator and teacher Marcus Fabius uh, Quintilian, I cannot uh, resist quoting precisely the just three lines uh, where he defines a uh, metaphor. Uh, Quintilian says in his Institutio Oratoria or the Orator's Education, written roughly in the year 100 AD, that uh, meta metaphor is both a gift which nature herself confessed to us and which is therefore used even by uneducated persons and unconsciously and at the same time so attractive and elegant that it shines by its own light, however splendid the context. Uh, good morning. Uh, welcome to the University of La Rioja. In nombre de esta universidad, quiero agradecer su presencia en este congreso. Me van a permitir también dar la enhorabuena al Centro de Investigación en Lenguas Aplicadas por la organización de este evento, que con toda seguridad será un éxito. Espero que encuentren en la Universidad de La Rioja un marco adecuado para sus debates. Eh, a modo de presentación, les diré que la Universidad de La Rioja fue creada en el año 1992 y el campus cuenta con unos eh, 6.000 estudiantes. Eh, impartimos docencia de grado, de posgrado y de doctorado. Y, y eh, impartimos estudios en los diferentes campos de, del saber. Sin duda son destacados los estudios de lengua por su trascendencia científica y por la historia. De hecho, eh, la en la Universidad de La Rioja nos sentimos de una manera u otra herederos del escriptorium del monasterio de San Millán de la Cogolla, hoy considerado eh, cuna del español.
dear conference participants, we now come to the closing session, the closing ceremony. Um, as head of the research center for the applications of language, it is my honor and my privilege to uh, address a few words in the closing session. But before I do that, um, the CRAL 2013 Scientific Committee has decided on the two CRAL awards, one for pre-doc, for the pre-doc category, and the second one for the post-doc category. And I would like to announce that the award for the best oral presentation in the pre-doc category at the third international conference on meaning construction, meaning interpretation, applications, and implications has been uh, given to Julia T. Williams Camus. If she can come to the stand. And in the postdoc category, the Oscar goes to, <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can say this name, uh, so sorry about the anglicized form, Marcin Kutzok. Yeah. Yes. And now the, the concluding words, my dear colleagues, my dear friends. Um, the, the, the CRAL 2013 organizers have been doing a lot of thinking about language and interpretation. And well, we think that we now have discovered the secret <laughs> of the interpretive dimension of language. It took the whole conference for us to come to this conclusion. So we know the secret. And we're going to be generous. And we want to share the secret with you. So probably you are acquainted with the Jabberwocky poem by Lewis Carroll. Uh, probably it gave you a hard time, as it gave a hard time to me and to the rest of the organizing committee. And, well, you know something about the Jabberwocky? This is not a Jabberwocky. And this is not a Jabberwocky either. But this is a Jabberwocky. Can you see it well? This is the poem. Uh, let me try to read this. I thought it was written in Polish, but no, it's English. Uh, so sorry about my accent. It was brillig. And the slithy toves did gyre and gimbal in the wave. All mimsy were the borogoves, and the moan wraths outgrave. So after a lot of deep thinking, we came to the conclusion that this applies to conference organization. <laughs> and this is simply the description of life before going into the organization of a conference. <laughs> then the poem goes, Beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jub, -jub bird, and shun the framius bandersnatch. Which interpreted means, these are wise warning words from conscientious and well-meaning colleagues who think they know a lot about the ins and outs of university life. And the poem goes on. He took his vocal sword in hand, long time the mangsome foe he sought. Which, of course, means 
that we have a reckless head organizer <laughs> who ignores the wise advice of received from well-intended colleagues and even family and friends and goes into conference organization. <laughs> so rested he by the tom-tom tree and stood a while in thought. And as enough is thought he stood, which means that the conference organizer ponders on the conference topic and the selection of plenary speakers. <laughs> The Jabberwock, with eyes of flame, came whiffling through the tulgy wood and burbled as it came. Pre-conference organizational problems crop up and they look scary. <laughs> one, two, one, two, and through and through the vocal blade went snicker-smack. The conference organizers react <laughs> in time with the support provided by his amazing team and his sponsors. He left it dead, and with its head, he went to galumph him back. The conference organizer has dealt with the challenges. <laughs> and hast thou slain the Jabberwock? Come to my arms, my beamish boy. Come, <laughs> colleagues at <admire> my conference <laughs> organizer. Oh, frabious day, Kalu Kalai, he chortled in his joy. Yes, we do chortle <laughs> in our joy. So, <laughs> I would. So th thank you a lot. I would like to call to the stand the rest of the team of organizers that are present in this room. Could you please come to the stand? Yes.